the best news ever. I'm Bill Dobler, and we have a very exciting news broadcast today. Let's get things going with the weather. Here's Dill Bobbler. Hey, it's still here. We have very little rainfall everywhere in Africa. This heavy drought has been going on for quite some time, and people are really starting to feel it, Bill. Besides having many deserts, Africa has few systems of water, making independent countries need clean water. Can we zoom in on the rainfall? <laughs> Let's take a look at the climate of Africa. As you can see, just about half of the country is unusable for farming and production. Not only is there a lack of ability, there is also a lack of resources for production in general. Four problems that independent countries in Africa are facing are no water, no food, few resources for production, and lack of ability to produce. Thanks for that, Dill. It seems like more fortunate countries have the ability to end poverty in Africa. But they are so absorbed in their own problems that they neglect to give any aid. We'll be right back following these commercials. Ah! No, no, no. No, no, no. As you can clearly see, these people need our help. Just one dollar can save so many families. Spend my money? I don't think so. I saved every penny since I was six years old, and I am not spending on these foods. Who do they think I is? Are they serious? They want me to spend my money, the money that I've been raising all my life to support my family and everything that we do, and they want me to give it to Africa? Africa should be able to support themselves. Us Americans have enough to deal with, with our own economy failing. What do, why do they want us to give it to them? Solve their own problems. <laughs> I am how you say the French. They expect me to spend my money on them. My country has been supporting itself for 1100 billion years and they expect me to support their country when they're just becoming a nation now? Who the heck do they think they are? And now for the news. Oh, oh how very nice. We're going to have a special guest this morning. Aren't you lucky? Please welcome Dwayne Armadillo. Welcome to the best news ever. Thank you, sir. The independent nations face choices of what type of government they wanted to have, such as capitalism, socialism, and of course, monarchies. European nations set up governments during times of imperialism, but they did not succeed after independence because of the language barrier and the unfairness. If government existed, it was often for just a short period of time before a military coup occurred and four leaders were put into place. And now over to our field reporter, Phil Cobbler. It's Phil Cobbler here, and as you can see, I'm in the very dangerous position. There's wars going on all around me. Civil war, government war, military coup, all of these wars are going down. <laughs> Behind me right now, there's a intense tribal battle. You're breaking up, man. You oh, we lost him. Uh... Foreign loans are given to some countries to try to improve living conditions, but the interest piles up, and the countries cannot pay for it. In 1973, over $1 billion were invested 
from the United States, which has not changed the living conditions, and the debt increases daily. With population growth at 2.8%, they don't have enough food to feed the people now, and they won't have food to feed the people later. As you can see, poverty runs rampant throughout Africa. Disease and lack of money is no laughing matter. From all of us here at the Best News Ever, this is Bill Dobler signing off.